But verse 4. And Jonathan took off his robe, took off the robe and was on, and <clears throat> that was on him and gave it to David with his armor and his sword, his bow and his belt. Now you say, well, what's the big deal? Jonathan gave him his robe. Here's the big deal. It wasn't just a robe. It wasn't just a garment. That garment represented something. I still remember the story with Dr. Dr. Livingston, I presume. The, the, the tribal chief said, here you go. When he entered Africa, he told, <clears throat> he told God, give me Africa or take me. And he went through Africa preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. But he, the, the tribal chief gave him a staff, a stick. And he's like, wow, <laughs> nice gift, but... <laughs> Wasn't probably all that impressed when he first got it. His team sure wasn't. But as he marched through Africa, everybody opened their door to him. Why? Because they understood that chief and they understood they were in covenant with him. See, once the, do you realize, oh, I, I, I have a dream. Can you imagine what it would look like if the body of Christ knew we had a staff? If we knew we had a robe, he said, I've give, I put on you a robe of righteousness, not self-righteousness, his righteousness. And how do we put that robe on? It don't jump on us. We have to put it on. How do we put it on? You're doing it right now. You're doing it right now. You're getting dressed right now. Every time you hear the word of God, you believe the word of God, you act on the word of God, that robe's just getting on you. You can't help it. Why? Because you're finding out who you are in Christ. 